Blessings to all of you. Namaskar. Thank you. Good evening. How was the week passed by? It was good, Guruji. Yeah, your 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 face reflects that. <laughs> It's very bright. <laughs> all of you look very bright. 
Maybe they take that from I laptop. think it's the new laptop. <laughs> it's the new? No, it's not. <laughs> I think it's the new laptop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it might be the new uh, laptop, Guruji, but I'm yeah. really very happy. And that's why yeah. my face also is bright, I think, because these two are attending your classes regularly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I <laughs> see, uh, I, I could see what is there inside. Uh, it is going, it is getting cleansed yes, of all, yes. all, all things. Because the past has to vanish. We should become like children in reality. Children, children never carry, carry weight, no. They don't carry That's anything. True. Life is blossoming every moment in fully, absolutely. Because there is only life. There is only life everywhere. And the life is not simply of this alone, though this also is there within that package. But only after realization, we start enjoying bodily living also. Mm. When you go weightless in your mind, then there are no thinkers in you. Now, we are always originating or living as thinkers for anything and everything. We need to think, we have to think. We respond only through that. We think and reply. And whoever demands replies from us, they also expect, they also make us to think. So this thinking is uh, has become a disease of our existence, thoughts, because we have not probed about who the real thinker is. Is there any thinker at all in the first place that is also not known to one? Is there a thinker? No, no. There's no thinker. How do you say that? There's no thinker because the thinker arises from all the subtle bodies that comes. Um, so the subtle bodies itself um, when we start giving more importance to them, they take a full form and that's when they, the so-called ego is at, it's, it's at its um, uh, optimal level. And that's mm. where all our uh, constant flow of thoughts and all, all that is um, occurs in our mind, even if we are sitting quietly without opening our mouths and speaking, but there is a constant chatter that's happening through the mind, be it judgments, um, you know, having perceptions or forming opinions in the mind. Maybe I don't voice it vocally, but it's still going on in my mind. So that's why I think all this is coming through those subtle bodies. Um, but I don't think there is once, once I sort of start to break it down by the techniques that you have shown and your previous um, classes, I've understood that there is no real thinker. Um, <clears throat> it's, um, there is some sort of source that it's taking form from, but there is no really thing. I think we are giving it, um, power by uh, going behind those thoughts. Yeah. yeah. That we within course, as you said, that we who give power is what has to be looked at. That is generally called yes. as that is generally called as the, the phantom body of the ego. Phantom body. It's not a real body at all. Mm. See, you are sitting no, in front of the laptop camera. You are sitting there as a physical entity. But the identifications of your sitting there takes place through that phantom entity only. Yeah. Not even through your subtle body. Okay. Why? See, we call it whatever that stems from within as thought or feeling or an experience. Yes. 
that is being experienced we call it as someone is doing that someone is experiencing someone is feeling someone is thinking all are subtle though they are subtle they they stem from that phantom like ego phantom right it's not real it's only by name you know to say ego to 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 pinpoint it we bring in a name to it and we refer it so that at the very onset of a thinking process or a feeling process or an experience as the experience process we ask you to be just aware mm. for whom it takes place an experience feeling or a thought all are one and the same but they form so quickly the experiencer makes it as a solidified feeling and brings and uh, labels it as a thought and the ego unabatedly uncontrollably marches on from there to act upon it through the physical part right e- ego is always motivated <clears throat> it has been carrying motivations from our past lives there is only one mind that we should know that it is the cosmic mind but in cosmic mm-hmm. mind we have been continuing as a separate distinct name and form through several physical bodies through several lives this time you are called as in this body as purina because you you decidedly you are confirming it by your thinking within you that you i am purnima i need this i don't need this i like this i don't like this through all kinds of behaviors and these behaviors have their origination in the past registrations mm. when we start looking at the thinker immediately you actually naturally descend to the next inner layer beneath the thinker is the feeler Be- without a feeling you cannot g- bring a name to it as a thought yeah. suppose you are asking for a bottle of water in a shop he-, he shows a bottle he immediately touch it this is not chill i want a chill water based on the feeling you bring in the label chill you asked for water again you go in for whether it should be warm or chill in the same way even for water because you feel thirsty or you feel an emergency might arise so let me get a bottle of water and travel start the travel so if the thing is that emergency is also a feeling and you were feeling thirsty within there is also a real feeling of the physical body that should be supported by a inner urge of naming it feeling it and then buying the needed thing that is the water here yeah. so all through our lives especially from the morning the moment we wake up and even during dreams also we live through the subtle body here in the physical Uh, waking state this experiencer said godding himself brings that feeling before the start of a travel so let us get some 5 liters or 10 liters of water and store it in the car this is an experience that has happened that has been happening and that is now referred to in the mind and intellect immediately comes in and that feeling is reiterated by coining the thought uh let's take water from here let it let it be a chill water all these things so these are all actually are not needed are not needed in the sense they are only utilitarian 
utilitarian see your name is only for identity to to give an identity among the 800 crore people population populated earth a specific identity no more than that because in deep sleep there are no 800 crore people living on this planet there is no planet at all it's not it's not only in our isolated deep sleep state of a person the whole cosmos is under uh, the whole cosmos is asleep always there is no subtle body in them do you think a sun has the sun the family head of our planetary system does it have a objective reference within it what is it it's only a helium constantly burning shedding light as well as heat across the all planets and up across the cosmos thereby that light is required required for a <clears throat> for a cell like thing to get conceived to become an egg or a ovum or a form of life basically heat is needed not only heat air all the five basic elements in in their subtle levels whatever the subtle level formations in your body that underwent by the ego in previous lives in the past lives is being carried in and through not in this body alone it is basically in the cosmos the cosmic mind is filled with past present and future it's only a notion there is no past there is no present there is no future i can easily prove this if you if you gain altitude to the level of some other planet you will see the earth itself as a ball isn't it mm-hmm. <laughs> isn't it yes uh, it's only a, a distant uh, dot when it is a distant dot uh, where is the question of a uh, 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 sunlit uh, light available as a day and its absence as darkness of the night mm. there are no such things at all they are all relative they are all concepts for studies we need those concepts to study why should we study to fine tune the intellect so that so that we make the intellect turn upon itself to look at guru ji ha ah, yes um so mm. what i wanted to ask is like you know mm. yes this is all the activities of thinking mind mm. um it is so there's only one cosmic mind and like you know the example of uh, us going to fetch a bottle of water mm. um you know this is not chill give me another bottle mm. which is chill asking all like you know all these are Mm. activities of mind mm. so you are saying we don't need i mean um, you know for my understanding i'm asking so we can live we can we can be ourselves without these activities like day to day like you know can we can we be like that no no i i don't mean that we don't need the activities what i what i say is these instruments only this mind intellect and the ego all these three this trio these are making a hell a hell a lot of problem within us mm-hmm. they are not real see in dream also you undergo a dream when you go to a shop you buy you are so thirsty you are running helter skelter for water mm-hmm. there you quench your thirst dream thirst with the dream water there by you mm-hmm. feel relaxed mm-hmm. in the same way our registrations are doing all these activities as this person through the ego ego as a phantom being that is always in the cosmic mind that exists in the cosmic mind remembers we are not going to cease doing stop doing all these activities we are going to 
not to waste the thinker not to employ a thinker not to employ an intellect which is always in the process of like dislike good bad pleasure pain sin virtue heaven hell all all sorts of uh, dualities day night man woman even birth and death is only a concept that is held in the ego in the cosmic mind our egos go uh, our egos go to rest in the cosmic mind during deep sleep we are without ego we are without intellect we are without mind our heart continues to throb during our deep sleep our kidneys function we are alive though we are not cognizant about it we don't cognize cognize about it but we live we exist we have been existing so it, it our deep sleep is nothing but a vegetable like state of existence vegetable just like a vegetable this being was alive but this being was not aware of it here at a, at any moment of our waking state this is constantly these three are constantly working thereby endorsing our connection to the cosmic mind also we never probe the cosmic mind or we never inquire our own thinkers we go on add more and more thoughts through one thought associative thinking starts working in us connected connected to this connected to that connected to that connected to the unstoppable the mind is full of thinkers and valuing so many things all those valuing is taking place through the intellect and the intellect is always connected by the ego in the cosmic mind through the ego with the cosmic mind so it drags past tendencies these tendencies give orientation to your way of behavior when you are without a tendency or an orientation or a motive behind your thoughts what happens is you you come out fully with all your talent when when the supreme consciousness of the deep sleep state when it reflects in you when it descends in you as your way of living even your thoughts when the supreme consciousness itself become your practical guiding thought of a particular moment then you shine fully all your skills are coming out fully you even your, your waking state is fully enriched you you be, you live like a real king with absolute peace tranquility as well as highest efficiency highest excellence and you always stay in a state of transcendent time transcendent space you don't restrict yourself at all to your physical body when you become a thinker you are confining you are imprisoning yourself into that body as that person thereby always there is a doubt even while executing a uh, buying a bottle of water so many doubts will start coming in you whether i collected the exact balance whether i checked the exact balance or have we rushed from there very fast you check there i dropped it in the purse this side side that side all these things i i don't remember is yes. we paid a one 10 dollar bill all these things anything and everything will pop up because you as a person you have been living here you as a person have been living through thinking if you if you act through if your total life is through the supreme consciousness the one consciousness simple it is simple just like a child 
you you don't have to remember but at the same time you do whatever you do is absolutely perfect this is exactly what i wanted to know guru ji yeah like can we live like that like you know yes, you if can, you do you can be, yes. mm-hmm. uh, that is the technique which we are going to see today cleansing of the intellect of impurities cleansing the intellect of the impurities or defilements or past whatever you call so whatever the feeling that is surging in you adding a thought to it a name to it an opinion a, a value to it it's all happening because already the ego has it in the intellect fully loaded you get this yeah. so yes ask me ma no great that makes it clear for me yeah, um, yeah, yeah. with uh, with labeling it and unless unless the person's labeling it then we if we choose not to do that then we can just sort of let that thought slide yes, slide yes. through yeah yeah the, the thoughts 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 never arise at all and you don't uh, form opinion judgments conclusions or how to go about it whether it is beneficial if anything is added immediately the ego jumps into the activity in the intellect through the intellect through the feeling through the feeling and it 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 cannot uh, satisfy itself without forming opinions conclusions so that has to be uprooted at the very start of it at the very start of it it shouldn't arise at all so there is a technique which we are going to see now in this 11th exercise yeah we will go to it today is 15 july friday self inquiry technique 11 science of self inquiry in our gates we will go through what was taken in the last 10th session 10th technique and then we will proceed to the 11th one. this was our 10th one can you read it uh, guru ji i think this is 9th one i'll read it anyway no no this is not 9th oh, sorry, sorry sorry uh, sorry here because this slide number is 9 nine yeah my apologies there yeah uh-huh. weightless waiting uh, while you are in just be 24 by 7 never be a waiter who waits to stop thoughts or feelings that arise within that's a false game always be behind the truth about the waiter immense bliss the inner scientific eye of transcendence has blossomed in you from now on you will see you will be showered with all material and spiritual prosperities only miracles yeah real authentic life is like miracle only because our everyday day everyday you know, deep sleep is nothing but a miracle see until the moment we fall asleep the pre recorded cosmic activity got expressed even through our lives isn't it until the moment we went asleep we fell asleep isn't it right yeah, yeah. that's true yesterday night just at the last thought to wane away from you and it went away you became almost lifeless what was that life the the whole waking state life of yesterday is nothing but an illusion Yeah, yeah, put up show of five sheets, five koshas, and three bodies. That is the gross physical body of name and form, subtle mental body, and causal ignorant body, causal body of ignorance. How do we actually come into being to our waking state as well as dream state? We come into existence through ignorance. ignorance is our foundation what is that ignorance we have ignored to look at the cause why are we here the cause of our existence who are we here why are we here 
as Purnima, as Vaidehi. We never looked at it. We cannot look at it elsewhere outside of your physical bodies. Definitely, you are nothing but your subtle bodies only at this moment. Mind, intellect, ego. Ego means clear phantom like body. Phantom like physical body. It is embedded in your feeling, feeling body. That is in the intellect. Always the feeling body is in du dual in nature. Dual in nature. When you when you feel pleasure, the opposite always coexists. When you feel good, the opposite always coexists as bad. When you feel when you when you are afraid of death, there is always a pleasure of thinking about birth. Birth seems to be a pleasurable experience. Living seems to be pleasurable. Pleasure or pain or birth or death, whatever, all these are dualities of feelings. Even without names, they exist in the intellect. Because we have ignored for fundamentally for whom all these feelings are, or for whom the thinking or for whom the physical body itself is. So this has not been probed or looked at. This is a very, very, this a, the very easiest, this is the easiest thing to look at. But this happens only when the realist person comes and says, his, says this like this. When the realist entity with authority he has to say, because no one can say this. Because they, they have not seen it like this. They have not known it like this. They have not realized what is behind this feeling or behind this phantom like ego beneath. Does anything exist at all during deep sleep? If at all something is this, what it must be. So they are unable to quote even deep sleep state at all in their spirituality. When they are not able to bring even as an example our deep sleep state, the whole spirituality is going bankrupt. Only blah blah talks. See here what we do, we immediately ask you to look at your own face, the subtle subtle body's real identity, or your thinkers or feelers or what is this phantom like entity. And there is no other uh, alternative to our saying about our uh, the deep sleep state. So the whole cosmos is a built up show. Not in the cosmos, but our non-probing nature. Because the ego was never probed into, the intellect forms a lot of judgments about its feelings, opinions, conclusions, etc., etc. Thereby, a lot of words, 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 chatter, chatter. And you jump into chattering or exhibiting whatever that is taking place within you as your life. But nothing is true at all. No activity is needed to be to uh, to enjoy bliss or pleasure of the waking state of the deep sleep state. Even no body was necessary there. No physical body was necessary. Nothing was necessary. Okay. Now we will go to the current slide and see what the technique is given. This is today's fifteenth July. Yeah, you can you can go ahead reading it. When it is seen that who the thinker behind all thoughts is, silence dawns, and one realizes that foundation of all thinkers exist in the intellect as past registrations. Those past registrations are also destroyed by gazing at the thinkers, thereby cleansing of intellect takes place. Purified intellect itself shines as the eye of the self, and one's day-to-day -day life also prospers. Yeah. What is this prosperity we get here? By constant gazing, uh, silence dawns in you. Because the thoughts stop. If you, if you don't look within the thinker who bounces to think always, 
there is no original original placement is taking place at all within you you are not able to station yourself anywhere within you. when you become a silent observer really an observer less observer of whatever that passes within you what happens is you are not able to think there is no sound originating within you in your mind as a thought that is silence it is not a cultivated silence it, it has been existing in our deep, deep sleep states but why are we not able to be silent here without chatter because these are all the habituation habituated craving for experience thereby stimulating all the feelings dualities of feelings thereby labeling them with thinking patterns lot of thoughts lot of speech within chatter within and one or the other chatter start bursting out as our speech and thereby we eventually register the doer of it we become the doer of the action the thinker becomes solidified by doing it as an action through the physical body here we are nipping it in the bud itself what do we do here here it is here it is given like this when it is seen that who the thinker being all thoughts is any thought not all thoughts any thought whatever whatever that passes has a label as a as a thought pattern we definitely we think we coin a yeah, sentence we speak we think aloud so that can be simply guessed at because to utter that sentence within our mind even subtle body you call mind so there must be a person who must be we we are never aware of that person at all so here we are not going to look at the thought which is making the sound in us making a sentence in us we are going to look at that thinker of that thought he is not there is no such entity at all but we since we never looked at him we never probed probed the origin of our thought pattern he continues to exist creating many more thoughts so we, you now start looking at who the thinker behind all thoughts is what happens is immediately the thinking stops there by silence dawns there is no thought movement at all it is not suppressed it's a it's an inner eye that's what we have been cultivating all through our techniques we are cultivating such a beautiful powerful alive technique for all prosperities both for spirituality as well as for our day to day living because the only one eye that uh, that eye of the intellect itself becomes the eye of the self that's what here it is given so silence dawns when the thinker is looked at and one realizes the foundation of all thinkers thinkers exist in the intellect as past registrations what are these registrations registrations of dual feelings why these registrations also took place in the in the first place in our uh, in our intellect because this phantom being is frightened always it's under free a fear our stress is originating because of fear our anxiety is originating because of fear everything originates because of fear even thoughts originate because of fear feelings arise because of fear we want to protect through one or the other fear in deep sleep what kind of a feeling existed even in our physical body or psychological mental body none nothing did we not exist during our deep sleep states we did can we not uh, st- just to extend it by looking within us and go deathless in deep sleep state we were not dead at the first instance we were not even born to die did we born where we born where we born in our deep sleep state no for who the death happens 
the physical body mm -hmm. physical body you, you, you must assume with the ego phantom feeling that he is born as the physical body his name his identifications when you are probing the very identifier within you the subtle body and you started even looking at the phantom physical uh, phantom egoistic body where is the question of uh, a death can occur first of all how a birth also can occur to you they go meaningless you understand yeah actually i am asking you do you understand but we are going beyond understanding you get this it's mm. not our psychological understanding at all it's it is a transcendent state of realization that we we were never born to die there must be an identification with the thought body or the feeling body or the egoistic body thereby the physical body of name and form is identified as i am purnima i am so and so there are no such bodies at all we are we are actually doing it in a very fast forward manner all these excess techniques techniques take you right uh, to the sanctum sanctorum where the real self uh, without any name and form is our essential nature we are going to experience it now we will go to the next center so silence dawns in one and one realizes that foundation of all thinkers exists in the intellect and past registrations those past registrations are also destroyed by gazing at the thinkers because when you look at the thinker thoughts fall silent you are not able to talk within you chatter within you think within you they go silent what does it mean you are feeling as already vanished with the judgments the conclusions which are about to form a thought about a sentence form a sentence thereby executing it as an action <laughs> making you as a doer that also goes away so thereby cleansing of intellect takes place cleansing takes place in sanskrit they call call this as sammarjanam marjanam marjanam karotu means clean it so here there by cleansing of intellect takes place purified intellect itself shines as the eye of the self because it's like our tongue when when it is when when our stomach and all, all the intestines and all the organs of our uh, digestive system are clean and pale and healthy then you feel the saliva is secreting in your tongue when you are hungry isn't it it is a, it is a tasteless tongue it is ready to taste any food show the taste of any food that is put on the tongue okay it's like this the same way where you are you going to get realized you are going to get realized in your intellect what is that intellect where does it exist does it exist in the physical body no is it mystical no it is apparent it is apparently available it can only be cognized through cognition when you, when you when you see who the thinker is immediately you land up in the intellect a formless feeling struggling to coin a word to it and to get expressed before that you just enter that place domain and the intellect also gets clean cleansed what happens it is now the purified intellect purified intellect itself is the eye of the self the true state in deep sleep this intellect without any identifications what it does it is not able to cognize anything at all still we wake up after a deep good rest of deep sleep state <laughs> we wake up to say i had a good sleep who can have a good sleep it was because the intellect was intellect was made dysfunctional it was not 
made to move this side or that side through the the sense organs or physical body and into it nothing was there to cognize for the intellect during deep sleep what happens it was made still even that state of still experience so this was the case now what happens is it shines forth it's not emptiness a tasteless tongue is very very vitally vibrantly ready to consume any amount of food and digest along with secretion of saliva in the same way here you stay still and experience your innermost core the real self that becomes your inner i you got this point now Still. this itself is uh, yeah this itself is going to be your technique cleansing of the intellect that's what is you are going to do through this technique just barely start observing within you we will not experience anything at all when you don't experience anything don't even uh, name it label it do anything with it then there will be a sudden the burst of an absolute i an i of absolute clarity well up in you start doing it immediately i will ask you to open your eyes yeah. very very slowly and gently open your eyes with your palms warm up your face and then close your eyes with your palms first open within your palms and then open your eyes how do you feel it it feels good guruji uh ah. better i i think this technique is uh, adding another layer to the other techniques that we have been practicing over the past two weeks um it's it's just help making it easier yeah yeah it's direct very direct we go to the very source of our source of everything there is a self self is the source and uh, abode of everything everything is there but truth is only the self not everything that's the thing that has to be that can only be realized keeping our bodies alive keeping our thoughts moving everything will do it but there won't be a doer in all these things that's the beauty mm. just like mm. a child in a child there is no doer yeah there is no player in a child it just plays mm. the same way so it's nice what i um, hmm. tell me ma what i felt what i feel um, these days or what i felt now is that i can see when i when i get lost myself in the thinking mind and when i come back to uh, like you know i can i can think that i've lost for a mo- i've lost myself for a moment in the thinking and then i come like you know in the hmm. present like you know feels like yes now i'm here i just like lost myself for a moment in the thought and then hmm. like i'm back so that's how i feel now yeah 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 so th- this coming back is uh, real authentic uh, you you need not you need not uh, compromise at all for returning back returning back to the stillness the silent being of you silent being is enriching true real by and by both your day to day activities as well as your journey of the, the pilgrimage towards your true self that is enlightenment realization that also will blossom okay thanks guruji yeah. yes guruji yeah we will meet next week next friday sure guruji sure. thank you thank, thank you for your time thank you yes.